Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a movie using the GoPro Studio. Now, this is the new update. This is GoPro Studio 2.0. This is the version of the GoPro Cineform Studios we've been used to, but this time it has a step in which we're actually able to edit the video so we can combine video clips together and make a little movie out of it. So I'm going to show you briefly how you can go through that and then we'll get into more advanced features in some upcoming videos. So to start with here, I've got a selection of some video clips here. These are all from kayaking. Um, we're just going to select them all. Control A to select all the clips and then just drag and drop them into the um, add new files things here and they'll all show up. Now we're just going to go through each one of them and we're going to select our in and out points on it. So we're going to go uh, this first one, we're going to go in here, play, we'll stop, and we'll come out there. So very short there, we'll add that to the conversion list, didn't really want too much there. This one uh, is pretty cool, there's a little bit near the end here that's pretty cool. Maybe hold on a sec, there we go. Alright, so I want this from here. Hmm up until here, yeah, there, all right, I will also flip this over, so I'll hit rotate and flip down here, it'll be upright, we'll add that to our conversion list. Okay, once you've got all your videos in here, you can just hit convert all, and then wait until each one of them has been finished converting. Depending on how much of each clip you've selected and how fast your computer is, this will take, um, between how long mine is taking and a very, very, very long time. If you're trying to convert a 10 minute video clip and you've got a slightly old laptop, uh, chances are you're going to be waiting for a while. So it could be a good time to go get a snack or something and then come back when it's finished. If it's going slow, it's not that it's broken, it's just going to take a while. Now we move on to step two, the editing step. So in here, we now have all of the video clips again on the right. And then down here on the bottom, we have a timeline. And then on the right hand side, we have the video control. Sorry, I think I said right, this is the left side. So we can go ahead and click on the first video clip we want, drag it down onto our timeline. And let's just put in two or three of them here just to start with. So we'll just put this one, that one, this one. Maybe I'll put this one at the beginning because it's the kayak being launched, which is pretty cool. So I can just stick it there and it'll bump the rest of the ones out of the way. So just like that, and then <clears throat> we can come down into here, and we can just hit play, and we can see what our movie looks like now. So maybe we're thinking that some of these are a little bit too long, and maybe we want to shorten them up. It's pretty easy to do too. We can just take um, the little click on this, I think, and just scroll through the video clip until we want it to end, hit end, and that is, um, set, or set out point, sorry, here, or use O on your keyboard, and automatically it will trim the video clip to that point. Now if we play this, it'll end right there and skip to the next video clip. Like the same, maybe I don't want to, maybe I want to start this one here, and end it there. So I can do that, and you can see it'll trim it automatically. Not destructive trimming. If I ever want to go back and move the out points, I can just drag them along just like this up on that um, little timeline slider there, and so on. So let's go into some of the things we can do with the video clips now. Okay, so over here on the right hand side, we've got some video controls. We can do speed. We can do fade ins and fade outs. We can do audio controls. We can do our white balance if we think this clip's a little bit too blue. We can um, make it a little bit brighter. We get image controls, exposure and contrast. These are um, all controls you controls that you will have seen before from uh, Cineform Studios. They're basically just laid out exactly the same. The only one here I, I think is new is the speed. So let's play with some speed here. Let's make this one slower. Okay, so maybe I'll trim it a little bit. So it starts here 
and ends as soon as it splashes into the water. So we'll end it. We'll end it right there. <clears throat> so with the clip selected, we can come up into our speed controller, slow it down to maybe 30%, and then hit play. You'll see that automatically the audio is um, muted for that clip. I'm not totally sure why that is. Um, I haven't played around with this enough to know yet. I was really just, this came out today and I was excited to show you guys it. So I'll play around a little bit more and if I figure out a way to fix that, I'll let you know. Now, if you want to add transitions in between the clips, I believe you just um, click on this little, little plus sign in between here and you'll see you get a little fader now. So when we hit play, it fades in between clips. Nice and easy, automatic to do that. And then if you want to add a title, you can hit title and it will um, give you a title clip here and you can drag it anywhere you would like. You can also put it onto the title um, part of the timeline below it. So this is our title. I'm going to put it here and you can see now it's on the timeline below our video clips and it will play for as long as it's on the timeline. So if I want to end it earlier, I would just grab the end of it and make it shorter and it will snap to the length of clips just like that. Maybe I want it to go. Okay, if you want to add audio, you would just drag the audio clip into um, this side of it and then drag it onto the audio track just like that. So really easy drag and drop stuff, um, very quick to do and you'll be amazed at how well and quickly and simply this works. If you want to add presets, just like we did before, I remember I talked about um, how you could make your video look more epic. So using presets, those are still here. We can make this clip into protein just with one click. We can make any of these clips we want um, into, there we go, we can hit protein and it will um, change the color of the clip depending on what we have selected. So there we go, protein. Make it look a little more dramatic. Maybe we think it's a hot day. We want it to look more old fashioned. So we could put this on each one of them and that could change the look of our video. So guys, thanks for, oh, actually one more thing. We have to export it. So to do that, we go to our third step, which is export. Click on export. Choose what quality you would like to upload it for. So we have YouTube. Vimo, you can see what changes here is the uh, the bit rate uh, the bit rate of the video clip. YouTube, Vimo, mobile devices. This would be if you want to maybe just put it on a phone. Uh, basic HD, full HD. This is if you want to edit it uh, for additional editing, and then if you want to have custom control over it, everything that's going on, you can use custom. If you just plan to put it on YouTube, you click YouTube, it'll make it all perfect for YouTube, and then just hit export. You'll be given a um, option of where you want to save it. Stick it on my desktop. Save, and then it will start exporting. Again, depending on your computer and the length of this video, this export will take um, more or less time. So guys, thanks for watching. This was a brief overview of the new GoPro Studio 2.0 and how you can use it to create some um, awesome video clips, which are actually combinations of a bunch of different videos. Mm -hmm. This is a new feature. GoPro's free software didn't used to have this, and if you've checked it out before and been frustrated by how limited its options were, make sure you go back and check it out again because it has <coughs> changed a lot, and it now is a very powerful software for free. So a great free editing software from them. Make sure you go check it out, and until next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel.